Are you curious about the powerful tools hidden in Microsoft 365? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. We've made a few insertions. We've made a few deletions. I've replaced a word and I've also added a table and a picture to my document. And all of these changes I've made have been tracked. What I'm going to talk to you about in this module is how you can make formatting changes to your document because it does work a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to make these words here, online video, I'm going to make them bold. Now you can see that as soon as I've done that, the tracking is slightly different. What's happened is I have this little pane pop over to the right hand side that's telling me that I made a change a few seconds ago and that I formatted the font in bold. Now these are what we call balloons. And I will say in older versions of Word, they did look slightly more like balloons as opposed to a text box like we have now, but the terminology is balloons. Now, if you don't like the way that these are displayed, you can change that. So let's jump up to the review ribbon and we're going back to our tracking group. And the option that we're interested in just here is this show markup drop down. So you can see here, I have everything showing in my document. So comments, insertions and deletions and formatting. And you can see underneath that, I have an option for balloons. Now, currently the option that I have selected in here is show only comments and formatting in balloons. So that's why my other markup doesn't show in balloons, but my formatting does. And if I were to add comments to that document, they would also show in balloons. Now I have a couple of other choices in here. I can say show all revisions in line. So now my only indication that I've changed this to bold is the vertical line showing in the left hand margin. Let's go back up to show markup and balloons. The other option that I have is show revisions in balloons. And that is basically going to show all of my revisions in balloons. Now, which option you choose is entirely up to you, but I'm going to put mine back to show only comments and formatting in balloons. And it is also worth noting here that that option that I've just selected is the default selection in Word. Now, currently, I'm the only person who's editing this document. And you can see that when I do make a change, it tags that change with my name. Now, Word is getting this information basically from the file area over here. So if I go to file and info, because I'm listed as the author down here, that's where it's picking up my name and adding it to the change. And the cool thing about this is if I was to share this document with other people, when they start tracking changes in the document, it's going to show with their names in here as well. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.